Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about CSS selectors. So without wasting time, let's get started. There are actually many types of CSS selectors, but we are going to talk about simple selectors for now. So firstly, I'm going to talk about the element selector that we have already just practiced. For example, in our index.html, we have this h1 tag and we wanted to apply some style declaration that we already did, that is having this purple color and aligning the text to the center. So how did we achieve this? We basically were in our style.css and there we directly targeted this h1 tag. So if I go to style.css we directly wrote h1 and then inside the curly braces we wrote the style declaration for color and as well as for the text aligned to be centered right so this is the first way this is the first selector where we directly target the specified html elements all right next we have another type of css selector and we call it as class selector now what do i mean by that let me go to index.html and here I'm just going to create some multiple divs. So let's go down and here I'm going to create a simple div. All right, now inside this div, I have something maybe a H4 saying this is my, let's say first div, all right. Then we have similarly another div and inside div, this div, we have some H5 text. Let's say this is a second, div all right so if i save it as you can see both of the divs appear here all right now what will i do if i want to target this div i will simply use this element to target right so i will go to style.css now here i'm going to target the divs so i'll simply write div all right name of the element and then some style declaration for example i want the background color of this div to be brown so if I hit save, as you can see, the divs are brown, right? So I also want its width to be a bit less, let's say 300 pixels. So they are 300 pixels. Let's give them some height also. So I'll give it a height of, let's say 200 pixels. As you can see, we have these two divs. Let's give them a color so that we can see the text. So I'll simply write color and hash FFF, which means white. We will surely, we will uh, shortly get to colors and then you will understand what I mean by this hash. For now, understand it is equivalent to this white right here, all right? So I'll save it. And as you can see, the colors inside is white now. Now we need to understand we are targeting both the divs. What if I want to target this first div only? What if I want to give a different color to this div and to this div as well, right? As you can see, when we target a div element, both of these div gets targeted, but we only want to target one div, right? So in this case, what we are going to do is, I'll go back to index.html. Now, let's say that I want to target this div, having this h4 text of this is my first div. So I'm going to give it a class. So right here, the starting tag, the starting div tag, here I'm going to have an attribute. And this attribute is called class. Class equals to, and then, Inside here, we are going to specify any name that we want to give. For example, I'll give this a name of first div and I'll save it, nothing will happen for now. But remember that we gave our first div a class of first div itself, right? You can name anything, right? Now, how to target this class, right? I'm going to go into style.css. I want to target this first div only, right? This one. So I'm going to go into style.css and right here, just after this, I'm going to say first div. But if we go back, as you can see, this is a class. When we target, when we target elements direct, at that time, we write simply div. But when we target a class, right? When we target a class-based element, what we do is we specify a period. So I'll write period and then name of the class that is first div and then curly braces and inside we will have our declaration. For example, I want to give a different color to this first div, right? So I'll simply say background color or let's say blue. Okay. Now once I save it, see the first div changes its color to blue. So this is how we can target multiple divs, right? With the help of class. 
Similarly, I'm going to give this div also a class. So I'll write class equals to, and then inside quotes, I'm going to write something called as second div. I'll save it and now I will target this second div. So I'll simply write period then second div and inside second div, I will write background color of uh, let's say this aqua. I will save it and as you can see, it becomes aqua color. This color doesn't look really nice to my eyes. So let's try something else, maybe green for now. I'll save it and now this is a green color div. Now you, now you saw how we can target these divs with the help of class. And in fact, we can target any element with the help of this class. I can also give a class to this h4. I can also give a class to this h5, to this a tag anywhere. All right. So this is another type of selector called as class selectors. Now we can remove this background because we have already specified the backgrounds for both of the divs. So I'll just remove it and save it as you can see. Now, for example, I want the second div's width to, to be different. It's 300 pixels, right? But I want its width uh, to be, let's say 500 pixels. I'll save it. And as you can see, the second div gets its width changed to 500 pixels. All right, so this is all about CSS class selectors. Next up, there is a third type of simple CSS selector that is called as an ID selector. Now, how do we know what an ID selector is? Now, we can use classes, right? We have this, as you can see, period, first day, period, second day, we can give class to any element in our HTML. Now, why should we use ID? Let's first talk about what ID is. So, ID is used to target elements for one specific unique property you can say all right the id of an element must be unique for every page what i mean by that for example we have this paragraph i want to target this paragraph as you can see i, I have already done it here using this paragraph text but a good practice here will be would be to give it a class of let's say my paragraph right now I'm going to just copy it quickly and we will target this my paragraph. Now, instead of this P, I am going to write here, full stop my paragraph and save it. And as you can see, it works fine. If I want to increase the text size, let's say 40, as you can see, the text size increases. Let's keep it to something like 30 that it was already. Now, for example, I want to target some portion of this text. For example, I want to target these words. I don't know what they mean, but they are there. We want to target these words. How can we? What I'm going to do is I'll go back to index.html and I'll look for these words. For example, here are these words. I'm going to wrap them inside a span element. You may have already known about it. So I'll write span and hit enter and we have a span element and I'm going to just cut and paste it here. Something like this. Nothing happens. All right. Now span is just used to target some uh, random stuff in your HTML. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later on. Now I'll go to style.css. How will I target this span? One way is to give it a class. All right, one way is to give it a class. But remember this rule of thumb, if you want to target multiple elements, if you if you have multiple elements like this, where you want to have a span and then you put on a class, it will be fine. But what if you only have this one span in your whole web page? This time you will write ID. So I'll write ID equals to and I'll say special text. Special and then text. I will save it. Now I'm going to target this ID based element and how will I do that? I will go to style.css and here to target an ID based element, we already know for class we use period, right? Period and then name of the class. Similarly, for our IDs, we are going to use a hash. So I'll write here something like hash and then name of the ID. So in our index.html, what is the name of ID? It is special text. I am going to copy it and then here I am going to paste it. So special text and then we can use our CSS declaration. So for example, I want the color to be changed. So I'll write color red. If I save it, as you can see, this becomes red color. Similarly, let's say I want the font style to be uh, italic. I'll save it. As you can see, it becomes italic. Let's give it some font weight. I want the font weight to be bold and I save it. And as you can see, the font weight is bolder. 
So this is how we can use ID in our HTML to target some specific unique element, all right? And then to target it, we use a hashtag followed by the ID name. All right. Now you may be confused when to use class and when to use ID. So the general rule of thumb is here that if there is more than one element which requires the same styling, then use classes. But if there is only one element inside our HTML that has some unique uh, styling needed, then we use an ID. All right. Otherwise, if we have more than one elements that require the same styling, at that point we use classes. If you are still confused between this class and ID, don't worry. Just remember what I said and then later on when we start doing some mini projects, you will easily understand when to use class and when to use ID. Also, I'm going to quickly show you. Let me go to style.css. There is also a universal uh, selector that selects the entire HTML. So all of this HTML document will be selected if we go to style.css and I'm going to write star and then curly braces and when and whatever I want to write here will be applied to whole of my web page. So this star is basically a universal CSS selector. So for example, I want the background color of my whole web page to be black. Now if I save it, you see the whole will turn black. So I'll write save and as you can see whole of this web page is black. Now of course the text is in black, so that's why it is not visible, right? We can do something else, for example pink. As you can see the whole web page becomes pink. So this is a universal select. That will be enough for this video. In the next video, we will learn about CSS borders and CSS colors. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.